Hi, welcome to Hardwrist Info. Now I'm going to show you how to send messages and make calls without an iPhone on your Apple Watch Ultra 3. To do that, you should have eSIM connected to your uh, Apple Watch. You can't connect different eSIM than you have uh, on your iPhone. Uh, you should use duplicate, duplicate of your eSIM uh, on your Apple Watch. Just ask your career, maybe it's offering uh, this service, because if it's not, so unfortunately there is no way to use the same phone, no phone number uh, on, uh, on the Apple Watch, and you can't use different phone number on your Apple Watch, so you should ask your career about it, and once you connect it, if you don't know how to connect uh, career to your Apple Watch, how to set up eSIM, just watch our video about it, um, and okay so as you can see now it's very important to understand when you're opening a control panel here in control panel I, you can see that now my phone uh, my apple watch is connected to the iphone what it means as you can see here we have this iphone logo it means that uh, iphone is near b and it sends all calls all notifications uh, using just hotspot or something about it uh, to the Apple Watch okay so it's cool it's pretty cool but if you will disable Wi-Fi and even if you will disable Wi-Fi on Apple Watch wait well you'll be still connected to the iPhone okay uh, but if you have connected if you connected to the Wi-Fi and your iPhone have internet connection but you are in different part uh, of city, I don't know, and you connected to the Wi-Fi in uh, in this place when you are with your uh, Apple Watch, you will still be connected to the iPhone. But here you will see Wi-Fi icon, not the n not the iPhone, and you will still have everything from your iPhone. Okay, iPhone will send you using iCloud services all notifications or calls uh, direct to the Apple Watch. But if your smartphone, uh, if your uh, Apple Watch uh, is not connected to the Wi Fi network, it will use careers. It will use careers. And now I'm going to show you how it looks. Unfortunately, I can't uh, do it in different way right now. So, for example, now my iPhone is. Okay, it's down, right? So, uh, battery down and iPhone is not working, for example. Right, and now, uh, look at that, just wait a while until it understands uh, that uh, we have no internet connection. And now, as you can see, here we have the Wi-Fi logo. It means that our career is working now, but all internet services are working using Wi-Fi. But if you disable the Wi-Fi, Let's disable it. As you can see, LTE mode is enabled. And now calls, SMS and other uh, things works by LTE. Um, and that's it. That's it, guys. Hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, now, if you... Okay, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, maybe this is the most important part. Uh, now you can open calls and now click on some number to call it as you can see it works so uh, now we can call using the cellular uh, network we can um, call different number not our contacts only we can even uh, send messages um, if the contact or the number is available on, on iMessage it will use um, LTE or 5G to send a message. If it's not available, it will use just normal career network to uh, to send a message. And and okay, and all services, maps, for example, right? Maps, directions, Spotify, Spotify will normally work on your Apple Watch. Everything will work. So that's it. Despite the WhatsApp, you will not get. Uh, WhatsApp or messages uh, or messenger uh, notification on your 
Apple Watch if your smartphone is disabled or if your smartphone is not connected to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, because there is no Messenger or WhatsApp application on the Apple Watch, so there is no way to, to get notifications from it. That's it, guys. Hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if it's true, please consider to leave a like and a comment below this video. And bye. See you.